And Padre Pio gets the wake up early. He jumped about a neck slow, but he's right there, a little bit keen between them. It's him, first one to respond. King of Tara towards the 1200 is there. Juniper Lane, orange around them. Then we're going to drop back to Ad Altissima. Padre Pio, red sleeves and cap, is overdoing it at the rail. The thousand pig, a little bit eager, red sleeves and cap. Oh, and he almost picked. There, the favorite Padre Pio picked. Took an awkward stride onto the heels of King of Tara, lost about a length. As they go down towards the 700 now, and Juniper Lane opened up by two. King of Tara is racing second. It's him not too far off them. And despite all the interference, Padro Pio is still looking to cruise between them, red sleeves and cap. Ad Altissim has got about five to make up. Al Jazeera gets a mention. Homeward bound, Juniper Lane coming to the 400. Padro Pio, red sleeves and cap, one off the outside. Towards the inside, King of Tora. Anton Marcus says go, and Padro Pio now comes forward to attack. It's him's going to look to go with them. Juniper Lane's trying to find more. Ad Altissima's running a big race on the inside. Padro Pio's flat to the boards, but he's in front by a neck. Padro Pio pulls it out the fire. It's him, Ad Altissima, and maybe Juniper Lane in photos for the minor positions. Well, there you can see it looks like his tongue's over the bit there. He pecked, he almost came down, he over-raced. So everything that could go wrong, went wrong. But he gets it right. So his ability pulls him through. Number nine, Padro Pio. Five, it's him second. Ad Altissima, number one. And then it's very, very tight. I thought maybe Juniper Lane, number six. Just ahead of eight, King Tara. But we'll wait on official confirmation. Maybe with the naked eye, six, Juniper Lane. Padro Pio, despite all the excuses, he cruised up at the top of the lane. And then Anton now goes for the whip in the last 150. And he asks Padro Pio, come boy, let's go do the business. And Padro Pio picks it up. Padro Pio to win another verse in Jetrix. The first two on the card. And there's the official photo. Padro Pio from It's Him at Altissima. And just looking at that minor spot, perhaps six Juniper Lane. From myself, Sheldon Peters, back to the studio. Well, the green for St. Paddy's Day, and this has come through Padra Pia, the saint for the Dennis Bosch stable. Now, you have to be patient and watch that race to try and be cool, calm, and collected. I had a quick word with Anton, and he said everything that could go wrong went wrong. That's what happened, Sheldon. That's racing, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, that's why you want to be putting people like Anton on. When a problem happens, they don't panic. Anyway, yeah, that's what happens. So... I just want to say well done to Mario. He put his money down on a lot of horses. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this horse could go on. Anton thinks he's quite a nice horse. He'll get put away now. And uh, well done to Des. And uh, to my staff at home and to everybody, uh, I'm just grateful we put this one behind us. Well, well done to you and the team. It's a team effort. Yeah. Now, you've got a horse called Kia coming up, and she was impressive just ahead of Padre Pia, so that brings her to life now. You know, she, she came from Jeff in nice condition, and uh, we gave her a run, and we actually thought she would run a bit better. She was just a bit flat-footed at one time. So am I expecting a bit of a better run today? I'm hoping so, but the right ones, we're standing in the box. Well, we told the boys I couldn't get that suit off you <laughs> earlier on three hours before the first, so well done. Yeah, and well done to Mario again. I'm so chuffed, you know, for him because I, I do think if we give this horse a bit of time, you've got a smart horse on your hands. Super. Thank you. Let's get Des into the picture. Now he's going to come through, and we almost sent for the ambulance a while out there, but well done. Well, Sheldon, it was when he picked, I actually thought he, he had come down, but uh, just a big thank you to the bosses that I'm watching. You know, he, he trusts uh, his whole team, Dennis, and also just a special thanks uh, 
to Linton down in Cape Town. He's a big part of the team as well. And there's actually a funny story about this horse because I bit against Dennis. Okay. <laughs> and he, he, he was quite upset. And uh, it worked out that he, he got the horse. But a very special thanks to Anton. You know, didn't panic. Um, and also, I think, you know, the, uh, the stallion Bursting Getrix is going to be, be one of the top stallions in the country. Well, they've won the first two on the card, and this still looks to be a big baby. So six months down the line, the sky's the limit. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, Anton just said he's a big baby. He'll need further. So, you know, we know what we've got now. So, you know, we'll plan his uh, juvenile career properly. Well done. Thanks, Joe. Well done to all concerned. I had a chat with Anton Marcus, and he said everything went wrong. His class pulled him through, and a horse like Sam Sara, that's his ride later in the day, has come down in the ratings and could be in the mix of things.